Hey everyone, if you don't already know me, I'm Anna, and I'm the executive producer on Valorant. On behalf of everyone here on the Valorant team, we hope you're enjoying the start of episode six. And as always, we are super grateful for all of the engagement and feedback and support you've shown for this game. Today, we wanna to share with you some of the exciting things you can look forward to in 2023. But before we get to that, I wanna take a moment. I wanna reflect on the journey so far. So when we launched Valorant in 2020, our goal was to deliver a game worthy of your time, something you would connect to and play and love as much as we do here. Our goal has always been to hyper-serve our community of players and we've been doing our best to meet your expectations because honestly, those are the only ones that matter. To us, the last two and a half years have flown by. We've been listening to feedback, making adjustments and learning more about you and what you wanna see from this game. And while we were focused on all of those things through patches and updates and agents and maps, building an eSport, something amazing happened. We looked up one day and this incredible global community had formed around the game. The Valorant community has taken shape in a way that is humbling and exciting and amazing and a bunch of other words that all add up to us wanting to share again, gratitude. We got to attend two live events last year, Masters in Copenhagen and Champions in Istanbul. And while running around the cities and watching the matches, we got to meet a lot of you and get to know you better. Talk about the game and what you'd love to see more of, or in some cases, less of. You let us into your world a little bit, into your community, and it was magical and so motivating for all of us. It made us wanna work harder and to do better for all of you. Honestly, the years since launch have felt like us catching up, getting the game to a healthy state, and delivering on that initial promise. And there will always be more to do, more to get right, improve upon, do better on. So we've been doing a lot of that, but that's not all we've been doing. We've also been working on some new stuff, some stuff we're excited to bring to you over the next year. And to tell you about a few of the things we have in store, I've brought along my good friend and game director of Valorant, Andy Ho. Hey everyone, I'm Andy, and I'm here to share a bit about our plans for this year. Our goal for Valorant is to provide you with the best competitive shooter experience in the world, and 2023 is going to be a big year for the game. We've got a lot of cool stuff rolling out through this year, and I don't want to spoil any of it, so I'm only going to share high-level details about some of the things that we've got coming up. First of all, we'll definitely continue to have major episode and act these throughout the year, with new agents, maps, skins, balance updates, battle passes, and more. There will also be new modes to give you more ways to play Valorant, such as Swift Play, as well as another new mode that we are planning to launch later this year. Beyond gameplay, we'll also launch a lot of new metagame systems. This includes things like new methods for us to mitigate disruptive behavior across voice and text, and also systems to give you new ways to unlock content in the game. The final thing I want to talk about today is Premiere. Competitive Valorant is getting a major evolution this year, and Premiere is the system that links the game and the sport as one greater whole. There's a completely new dimension that opens up when you start playing Valorant as a team with glory on the line, and it's been our dream since day one to bring that experience to you. We were blown away by the amount of players that showed up to test the Premiere Alpha in Brazil last year, and they gave us a ton of learnings and confidence for the Premiere Global Beta and the Premiere Global Launch, which are both planned to happen in 2023. All right, that's it for me. Before I go, I just want to thank you all so much for the love and energy that you've put into Valorant. You're the ones that make Valorant such a special game, and it's the honor of a lifetime to build this game with you. Just know that we're here working hard for you and reading all your comments and memes. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, Andy. We have so many cool things to come this year, and we can't wait to share the details with you on all of those things Andy mentioned and more. Okay, what else? We are continuing our work on bringing Valorant to new platforms. It's going slower than we'd hoped, probably slower than you'd hoped, but we want to get it right. Oh, and let's not forget the relaunching of the VCT this year. I think we've all mostly survived roster mania, and we get to kick off the year with the Invitational in Brazil, then Masters in Japan, and then later in the year, Champions in... Nah, not just yet, we'll save that one. There are international leagues, challenger leagues, game changers, and tournaments. So much to look forward to with eSports. We're also exploring a bunch of the around the game experience, cool ways for you to engage with Valorant when you're AFK, and more ways for us to engage with all of you. 
So we'll see you soon. Maybe playing a new agent or a new map in Premiere or at a live event. Maybe checking out one of those new modes Andy was talking about, like Swift Play, or the one I'm really excited about, our take on Team Deathmatch. Anna, uh, Andy didn't say Team Deathmatch. Andy didn't talk about Team Deathmatch? Andy didn't mention Team Deathmatch. Okay, anyway, look, thank you. All right, thank you for being on this ride with us, for giving us your honest feedback, and honestly, for being such an awesome community. More to come soon. Thanks, everyone.